All right, now I'm going to show you the software that comes with the black element. Um, as you can see from the main screen here, you have the ability to set five different profiles here. Um, and then they've labeled each of these T1 through T9. And this will allow you to customize each individual key here. Now, um, this is the default setting for all the profiles right now. And if you click down, you can see all the different ones they have defaulted to, but then you can also click macro key here, and it'll bring their macro setup, where you can basically, when you hit the record button, you can do your keystrokes. So we'll do, and it'll do the down press and the up press here. We can stop it, and then now if I was to click T1, it would basically type out High Tech Legion for me. And this is very useful for, you know, the MMO and RTS games where you have multiple skill sets, multiple uh, keystrokes that need to be done. We'll just exit that out. And we'll default it back to normal. Okay, and then you, once you set your different profiles, you can save it to the computer or you can save it to the mouse. And the mouse has 128 KB of onboard memory, so it can save all your profile settings. And with each individual profile, you can set the different lighting options as well. Turn it to the color you want. Turn off each individual area if you want different setups. And then under the advanced configuration here, you can change the DPI based off the graph individually with the X and Y axis, uh, just in general with the levels here, your click speed, your cursor speed, your scroll speed, uh, and the polling rate down here at the bottom. So it's very highly customizable with each of the profiles. You can basically set one for your shooter game, one for your MMO game, one for your real-time strategy game. So there's, there's a lot of customizability with uh, the black element. Now also while you have the software open, uh, you will be able to have an on-screen guide that will show you exactly what you're doing. So like if you hit the back button and the forward button, or if you change your DPI on the fly, it'll give you a nice little pop up here on screen.